Okay, well, we, yeah, yeah, we're, we're very good with arithmetic here uh, because uh, we immediately saw, you immediately saw, that both of these are divisible by 7, okay? Right. And that's pretty good mental arithmetic to see that quickly. So that's, that's a very good sign, okay? All right. um, now, we go to prime factorizations. You remember what primes are, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, two's the smallest prime. Right. Okay? So to get the prime factorization of 18, we divide it by two. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of write that out here, okay? 18 divides in, or breaks down to two times nine, right? Right. Okay? okay. And now, two's prime, but nine isn't. Okay, because nine is nine's not divisible by two. Mm -hmm. If it was, we would divide it by two. But we divide it by three. So our two is here and our nine breaks in to three times three, right? Right. So we can model, write our numerators two times three times three. Okay? Okay. And then the numerator, well thirteen is a prime number as I imagine you recognize, right? Mm -hmm. And then and, you know, you immediately saw also that uh, and I don't know if I said it on, on, on tape, but you immediately saw that both of these are divisible by 7. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I don't need to uh, do too much here, but we're going to follow the procedure, okay, on this one. Right. This one just came out 7 times 11. Both of them are prime, and we're done, right? Right. So let's, let's apply the whole idea to 28. Now, what's the smallest prime that will divide 28? 2. Yeah. And, of course, it goes in 14 times, and I know you see that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, 2 is prime, so we're not going to do anything to it, but what about 14? What's the smallest prime that divides 14? 2. Yeah, and that gives us 2 times 7, and now everything's prime, right? Right. So now we have 13 over 2 times 2 times 7, okay? Yeah. Well... If one of these factors is the same as one of these factors, we could rearrange this thing kind of like we did over here okay. and get that number over itself, and we could call that one and it would go away, right? Right. And I, you know, borderline, but I'm going to go on the borderline of caution that you could think about cancellation in that context, but as soon as you do, people start canceling wrong. Okay. okay. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about it, but we could do that, and we will when we get to that kind of situation. It's a little cumbersome, uh, but we're not in a rush. We want to learn what's really going on. Okay, so now we want the same denominator, right? Right. Well, what's this one got that this one ain't got? Um, they both have seven. Yeah. Then that's all they have in common. I'm sorry? That's all they have in common is the 7. Yeah, so what What does this one have that this one doesn't have? Well, they both have 7, right? Right. Okay, is there anything that's in this one that isn't in this one? There's 3, not, there's 2 times 2 in that one, so I guess like another... Yeah, yeah, there's 2 times 2, so that would be the answer to my question, okay? Okay. What's this one got that this one hasn't? 2, two times, times two. 2. Okay. <laughs> all right? All right. So we're going to have to multiply this side by at least a 2 times 2, right? Right. Um, numerator and denominator. So we've got 2 times 3 times 3 over 7 times 11, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to multiply that by at least 2 times 2 over 2 times 2, right? Right. Okay. Now, if we do that... Are we going to now have everything in the denominator that's here? No. What, we, what, what What's here that isn't going to be in our denominator? The 7. No, this one has 7, this one has 7, this oh, one sorry. has 7. Uh, right? Yeah. You're thinking of something else. Okay. okay? <laughs> so we're focusing on the question of, uh, does this thing have everything that this one does? Mm, no. Well, yes, it does. Yeah. Does it have everything that this one does? Mm -hmm. Oh, this has 7 and 11, this has 7 and 11, yeah. right? Okay. This has 2, 2, 7, this has 2, 2 and a 7, right? Right. Okay, sorry. So, we 
got a pretty good denominator there. Now we've got to do it over here. Now you don't have to apologize. You're just thinking, I'm stating one question, and you're thinking a very related question. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, and, and that's not a problem. Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, we've got to resolve it. But okay, yeah. now, over here, we've got 2 times 2 times 7. Now, does this one have anything this one doesn't? The 11. Yeah. So that's all. So we multiply by 11 over 11, right? Okay. Yeah. And now both of our denominators are going to have all the same things, right? Right. So we write this as skipped a step there. I could have, you know, just written, you've gotten rid of this multiplication sign here, right? Right. And gotten rid of this multiplication sign to get 13 times 11 over this whole thing, and 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2, right? Right, yeah. Okay, well, at this point, we're going to go ahead and figure out the numerator. Okay. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy. 2 times 3 times 3, as we know, is 18. Times 2, that's 36, and times 2, it's 72. Check my arithmetic, because I'm good at it. Okay? <laughs> and here we have 143. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 13 times 11. Um, and that's over 7 times 11 times 2 times 2. Okay? Okay. Now I can add the 72 and the 143. That gives me 215 over 7 times 11 times 2 times 2. Now notice I multiplied the numbers out in the numerator but not in the denominator. Okay, yeah. There's a reason for that that I'll explain after we factor 215. All right. Okay? Well, 215, 2 doesn't go into 215, does it? No. Because this is not a number. 3 doesn't go into 215. Now, you're good at arithmetic, so you'll understand this. 3 goes into 21, right? Right. So it goes into 210, right? Yeah. Which right. would leave 5 left over. 3 doesn't go into that 5. No. So you can see the 3 doesn't divide it. Okay? Okay. Now, they're tricks. If you add up these numbers, you get 8, and 8 isn't divisible by 3, and it turns out that when you're dividing by 3, uh, that trick works, but you don't have to know that. Okay? So the next prime is what? Four? No, five. Five. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, well, five divides, obviously. And we get five times 43. Okay? Right, okay. Well, 43 is a prime number. You can check it out. Okay? Okay. But it's not divisible by 2, 3, or 5. Clearly. And it's not divisible by 7. And if it's not divisible by 7, it's not divisible by anything bigger than 7 because it wasn't divisible by anything less than 7 because 7 times 7 is 49. Did you get all that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. But, you know, that's prime, okay? Okay. And once you get up to a number like 7 that divides into 43 less than 7 times, you don't have to divide anymore. Okay. If there's a number less than seven that divided it, you would have already tried it. Right. right? Okay. So anything bigger than seven divided into 43 is less than seven. Nothing less than seven works, it's not going to work anymore. Okay. Okay. So maybe you totally understand that, and maybe I'll have to say it again, but um, really what we're after is not arithmetic and fraction. So what you see here is that there's nothing up here that matches anything down here. Mm -hmm. So it's in, that's in lowest terms. Okay. Okay? So we can multiply it back out. Seems like a lot of work. But when you do it with algebraic expressions, you really have to. 
So that's what, 77 times 4, which is 298. You can check my arithmetic. Okay? And if I've got the arithmetic correct, this doesn't reduce. Mm, I thought 308. Yeah, see, like I said, check my arithmetic. Yeah, 280 and 28 is 308. Okay? Okay. So you're probably better at it than I am. Now, okay. <laughs> Now, you can't just look at this and see that it doesn't reduce. Yeah. The only way you can prove that this doesn't reduce is to either try dividing numerator and denominator by every number from 1 to 308. <laughs> Actually, you'd only have to divide up to 215, the smaller of two numbers, or divide by every prime, or do this, which is much easier than that. Yeah. Right? You can always divide, break this up into primes and break this up into primes. Okay? okay? And once you do, if none of the primes match, it doesn't reduce. Okay. Okay? All right. So, nothing matches. Here, so it's in lowest terms. And we can multiply it back out. 